Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading, August 19th to August 25th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we're gonna jump right, uh, right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Two of Wands. Afterwards, it is the Emperor card that represents the positive aspect of your week, and then the last one which we do have, it is the guidance that Tara is offering to you, that is going to be the Five of Wands. So, um, <clears throat> before we scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. We do have the Tree of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, topic of your week, followed by the next one, which is the Two of Wands, which represents the um, challenges that you need to overcome. Afterwards, it is the Emperor that represents the uh, positive aspect. And then the final one here is going to be the Five of Wands, which stands for the guidance. So, uh, this reading here, well, let's let's go through the cards uh, one by one to scrutinize them. So we do have the Tree of Pentacles. So Tree of Pentacles, it's usually a card of cooperation, support, and also criticism, meaningful conversations that you're going to have with people who want to see you succeeding. Uh, because it looks like that, um, you know, they see more potential in you. It's, it's as simple as that. It's no different than when you start a new job, you know, and everybody is bossing you around. It is because they want you to uncover your maximum potential. It is it is like that. You're going to take it in the wrong way. It is what I think. Or rather, you are going to have a, a, a difficult time to, to um, endure the stress. And I'm speaking because I saw the next... I'm speaking like that because I saw the next day... Uh, three cards so yeah that's cooperation that you're gonna have with those people is going to be rather stressful why it is because there will be a new written in between you and the um uh, the agenda or rather like the the endeavor that you will have to tackle say you are a a, a lawyer all right and you start working into a, a new uh, a new uh, kind of like a law company or i don't know how you say it in in uh in English or how you call these companies that are a, a cluster of law of lawyers in in the United States and it's a new thing you know and everybody is bossing you around everybody is giving you cases and you are having so much to deal with everybody is telling you what to do how to do it in this kind of stuff and that is why because they want you to fit with uh, with the team you cannot be someone who is constantly behind all right 
and uh, they're not gonna go easy on you with this card, not at all. I mean, it's, it's it, it will be rough. You probably are gonna hear some uh, unpleasant things. You may take them as well as a personal attacks or something like this, but that's not the case with uh, with the Tree of Pentacles. As a matter of fact, like I said, people want you to uncover your true potential. And with the next card that I saw, I do think that you do have a big issue of believing yourself or believing that you can go through that or rather like that you can conquer this uh, this endeavor itself now the the accompanied card to the tree of pentacles is going to be the six of cups and the formation here it is a, a passive friends so with the six of cups uh, <clears throat> The majority of the tasks that you will have to tackle either in your marriage or either into your career throughout the week are going to be something that you would enjoy doing, you know, and the only thing that ruins ruins it, rather, ruins it for you, it is uh, that everybody is telling you what to do and everybody is trying or everybody is trying to help you and is doing things their own way, which is also equally equally potent and equally right. Uh, to yours. Now, the key here, guys, is to try to kind of like work in synchron, right? Uh, in synergy with those people, uh, because together you can achieve more. As a matter of fact, should you proceed together, Tree of Pentacles offers an, an oceans, ocean, excuse me, of opportunities moving down, moving um, further down the road toward your future. But definitely these... Um, aggravating tasks that you may have to deal with and tackle throughout the week are going to transform into rather more pleasant endeavors moving down uh, down the stream. Now, the next card it is the challenges that you need to face and or that you should face here throughout the week. It is the two of ones and two of ones in your case as a challenge represents the uh, <clears throat> the achievements that you are sitting in, all right? And the necessity for you to polish yourself even further, the necessity for you to grow yourself even further, okay? So the challenge here is to recognize that you can be simply better at your work, that you can be simply better at your marriage performance as well, that you can be better with your communications, that you can be better with your paint, painting, for example. You can be simply better in what you're doing. Only if you listen, you know, how people were doing their job, or rather, like I would say, only if you are willing to make a compromise and to fit with the team. The team could be you and your wife, you and your husband, you and your girlfriend or a boyfriend, you and your co-worker or your entire firm. The accompanied card here, it is the King of Pentacles formation. It is a uh, <clears throat> active uh, neutrals. And with the King of Pentacles, these two cards are pointing is that you are making it way, way harder than it needs to be or you're thinking that it is way harder than actually is. So the way I see it here, Cancer, it is that let's say you are given a task and everybody is telling you what to do, all right? Everybody is telling you how you should make up that task. And by listening to those people, you are imagining that this is a, with a, this thing that you need to do or the performance itself, it is a, a, a it is, it is a, with a, a colossal sophistication. While in reality, it's extremely simple and you're going to get the hang of it very, very quickly. So instead of overthinking it way too much here, the way I see it, why don't you just give it a try, all right? Just just try to do what, what these people are telling you, just a tiny bit of effort. And you are to see that magically, you know, you are actually very good at it. And uh, while these people are bossing you around, at some point, you will be the one who probably are going to boss somebody around as well. The third card, it is the positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Emperor. So on a positive note throughout the week, it looks like that you're going to breed a, a sense of responsibility, sense of reliability as well, sense of structure, and... Uh, Basically, those which are involved with you in either relationship-wise or either career-wise are going to see you as the person, right? You are the, the man for the job or you are the woman for the job. You are the person for the job. You are the person for that relationship. You know, you are the, the one that someone can rely on, okay? And that will uh, allow you to, 
to be offered a lot of opportunities or to be fit into a lot of societies or to be or to take participation into a lot of projects you the the options here are beyond uh, beyond counts but the thing with the emperor is that you alone are going to have that necessity to, to, to set everything around you in order, to set the, uh, the tasks into your marriage or into your relationship in order or into your private life, you know, to, uh, to set those, everything that is going on into your career as well in order. And when you do so, you're going to find out that it is very easy to face the everyday ups and downs. As a matter of fact, it's a piece of cake which on its own accord is going to open a lot of free space, free time for you to do whatever you like. The accompanied card here is going to be the King of Wands. So the formation, it is the active supporters that we do have. And um, well, it's a very, first of all, it's a very explosive, uh, explosive combination, very fiery combination. And as a fiery combination here, it's, it, it has a momentum, okay? So you will have to catch that momentum, which is this week, uh, August 19th to August 25th. And it's very likely that throughout this, uh, this um, order that you're going to exert into your life, into your career, or into your marriage or relationship, whatever, you know, um, a lot of impulse toward a certain fulcrum or toward a certain goal, toward a certain agenda, agenda is going to start um, forming. So the way I see it, it is that a, a goal of yours in either of those fields, which up until this moment was rather very difficult for you to think of, to, to think of that can be uh, that can be accomplished. Now it becomes more and more real, and it's it, the only thing that you gotta do is just you know set up your mindset into it and and maintain your positive attitude toward it. Positive attitude, by the way, it's it's a key thing here. You always need to look the things from a positive angle. With these two cards, the Emperor and the King of Wands, and the King of Wands uh, and the Emperor also are giving us a, a glimpse of your far future, especially if this is about career here. Should you listen to what the elders into this job that you're doing us are telling you and should you follow their step you are going to become an elder yourself you are going to become a boss you are going to become a, a person of authority because you do have what it takes to do so it is just you need a little bit more polishing okay and the last one it is the guidance the tower is offering to you and that is the five of wands and with the five of wands well i it's it will be difficult to to, to explain it really well, the five of wands in your case urges you to have uh, unbiased, you know, not expectations, but unbiased, how do you say it, um, attitude, okay, toward what, what those around you are telling you, you know, toward what your girlfriend is telling you, toward what your colleague is telling you, and etc., etc. Because with this card as a guidance, you know, the right the right move or the right decision yet is anybody's guess, okay? And everything can work out. There are a lot of surprises and a lot of turnarounds that can happen into your situation, into your marriage or into your career or into your social circle and all that. So instead of um, wasting your time and energy to arguing, you know, you should consider uh, all the, 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 the counsel and all the guide, the, the advices that are coming in your way, you should consider their positive aspects, okay? So with this card, uh, you have that ability or you're going to have that ability throughout the week to suck in only the positive, um, the positive properties of people's thoughts and at the end to assemble one really positive idea. Okay, and really positive strategy for yourself. The accompanied car here is going to be the sun, and uh, we do have another explosive uh, combo. First of all, uh, it's a very big, uh, it's a very potent combo for traversing failures into success. So it's a big time for you, Cancer, to believe that, uh, like I said, to exceed your limits, but not only that, but also try a new things that you have failed back in the days, should you have an opportunity to do so throughout the week. Additionally to that, this combination here, 
is saying that you, that there will be a, a field for you to grow in the least expected place. Place that you have pretty much scratched out up until this moment. Now that place or that field is going to prove in itself either very lucrative or very thriving for your emotions as well. But these cards here are saying as well that whatever you do, that no matter how you try to twist it, now you try to avoid it or anything like that, is leading you exactly where you need to be, all right? So <clears throat> this here, the very last two cards, is a testament that your life is unfolding at that stage extremely naturally. There is no more natural unfoldment than that. So yeah, that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 19th to August 25th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.